the way I found this uh, mid-rise building with a very nice facade very interesting because uh, it has those uh, double glaze uh, situation or setting uh, you can see that uh, there's a printed uh, fritted on the outside and then probably another behind I don't know if you can see it uh, through my screen but that's how it's like uh, form wise well uh, probably there's a courtyard in the middle I oh, know it's just a terrace and then you have those random windows and then all the, the, the windows are fixed glass so you're not able to open them so I don't know how what it reads but uh, but there are some letters I see S E all of the letters okay so let's go to the site so if I'm not mistaken I'm uh, in Islands Birgi I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly uh, I'm looking for a park specially designed uh, for the community at least for the users and again if I'm not mistaken I am in a university campus so uh, that park is uh, meant for the students and for uh, the professors and the staff of the university so uh, let me check uh, Google if we're going that way yeah we are okay so uh-huh mm -hmm. yeah we're on the right path okay okay I was supposed to go this way but it seems that Google is uh, directing us this way probably because there are no access this one this one is uh, completely closed off since it's a private property or the building is uh, blocking our way so uh, there's a passageway on the side um, a bike lane stone clad buildings and then you have the passageway the dormitory and uh, we are going uh, this way so on uh, soil combination of soil and gravel and then we have a man-made creek I'm sure this is man-made because of the concrete barriers and uh, we have an interesting university building very university like not government like and uh, I don't know what finish that is from afar I cannot really recognize it so uh, very neighborly area and you can see the number 16 at the far end and um, the number 16 is on an interesting building as well uh, I guess it's also an apartment building or dormitory because we are in a university campus so interesting enough for a dormitory or for a residential building they have this uh, humongous column and maybe an architectural expression so there's a dead end here so we have to go this way on top of the creek and uh, we can see the building up close but this is not what we're uh, exploring yeah it's travertine I think this is travertine very expensive material in the Philippines so uh, we're approaching the landscape design that uh, I came here to visit so uh, interestingly there's a beautiful residential uh, typology behind it so I guess the mounds is reminiscent of the mounds that you see in 8 Talit uh, with uh, the would you, would you call this wild grass I'm not so sure so uh, here we have everything natural porous wild maybe we have the mounds I don't see any kids we can play around this area so that one is more manicured the architecture is uh, very interesting here it's very warm it's made of wood maybe a combination of uh, panels only uh, in dark color and we are slowly approaching the one designed by 
Kobe. So what I'm not sure of is this area is part of the design uh, piazza. So this university campus is about 16,000 students and uh, this is meant to become their gathering and meeting place. So okay, you can see now the mound that we are going to climb later on. So I hope you are as excited as me and I just wish that the, the weather is better. I mean, I love the weather, it's cold, but I wish there's more sunlight so that we can better appreciate the mound created by the architects. And uh, you can see the flooring, it echoes the stone finish of the buildings around it. So it doesn't really take away and that they create that kind of context so that when you are here in the middle of the piazza, you will remember this because the recall is just really strong and it's such quite a steep climb and then at a certain point there's a staircase so uh, so uh, we are here at Karen Bixen's Plads so you can see the mound we are probably in the largest mound or maybe they're all the same size mounds uh, but you can see it's uh, made of shell structures uh, with hand laden tiles again mimicking the color or echoing the color of the surrounding buildings so that the, our recall is uh, stronger so that uh, this place will have a stronger presence because if you make this another color maybe it looks good but uh, but uh, with the same color uh, echoing the surroundings it becomes a very stronger place and uh, memorable because you created that you know big massive impact uh, because of the color so uh, I think uh, it can house underneath uh, how many bikes like 200 I'm not so sure but uh, definitely a lot of bikes because they have a lot of students here so uh, and then uh, you can see it's made of concrete it's cast concrete beautifully made and then they have this uh, reveal so that uh, the water won't go all the way inside it will drip off here <laughs> and there's an echo because of the shell structure <laughs> okay this is creepy so uh, this is a pretty nice space and I wonder if uh, the students are creepy like me and then uh, talk here and uh, surprisingly doesn't smell like piss because in an urban setting, when uh, this place is uh, constructed in a more public area, uh, this will be ruined with graffiti and piss. It smell like piss. But it's not because uh, it's an educational institution. It will be a shame for you if you're a student and do that here. And then you have also uh, holes on the mouth. Re-express as a as a I don't know what they call it, a recess on the floor and I would really guess that it's part of the Karen Bixen's plans or plates or whatever so uh, I think this is the library so again uh, this piazza this very playful form the undulating form connects all the buildings interestingly and if you want some exercise uh, you can go up like this so uh, it is uh, terminated by a concrete so you see that uh, the concrete is a little bit higher than the hand laden tiles and then you have a uh, steel stainless uh, uh, steel railing so there are areas that has to be uh, um, safe it has to be safe uh, so that you don't fall off based on standards of course so this has the holes has to be uh, um, has to have a railing. So uh, the designer collaborated with the engineers because normally when you construct a dome-like structure like this, it's pretty stable. But it's a different story the moment you put holes. So my engineering friends, my engineer friends, let me know if I'm if my assumptions are correct. But the moment you put holes, you need to recompute everything. So that the load, the distribution of loads will be uh, better. 
so I don't know the right word but uh, but the, 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 the concept is uh, what I'm trying to express so uh, so we are there are three domes and I think this looks this will look beautiful if it's going to be an aerial shot or a drone shot so it's a nice campus setup with really nice architecture and then you have that dormitory uh, peeking through and then uh, we have some uh, plant areas and I guess they didn't put the playground anymore because it's a university area so and this is the biotopes that they were talking about uh, let me go up again the biotopes that are meant to be more environmentally friendly compared to this area to balance the the two because you saw the creek there so that the, the runoff of water will go there and then will be absorbed uh, by the by the soil and by the gravel so uh, it's uh, their form of uh, response to the environment because uh, it's a pretty interesting piazza design so it doesn't have to be about just the plants but it can also be about the programs and uh, the experience and uh, and the use um, the combination of those things to make an urban public space interesting of course we cannot ignore the plants they have to be there so again thank you see you again